In this quick tutorial, we're going to look at how to do a slightly different kind of motion for our character. So in this case, we're playing a game that you're looking top down. This could be an adventure game where a character is allowed to move in any direction, a car racing game like this one, or a space game where you're looking down on a spaceship. So rather than moving left and right and jumping like our character Nubby over here, our character in this game is allowed to go wherever they want to in any direction. In this case, our previous video is not going to be any good because we only dealt with the X speed left and right. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you know how to open up Stencil, how to sort out your workspace folder, and how to import characters from somewhere like Piscal App into Stencil using sprite sheets. I'm also going to assume that you know how to do basic movements of characters so that you're not confused with some of the words I use in this video. And let's get to it. In the our scene, you can see that we've got a car and our car is going to be able to move up and down and then turn in the direction it's going in. Let's go to the car and let's make sure we go to the events of the car. We're going to set up an attribute. As always, we're going to call it velocity, V-E-L, and make sure it's a number. As always, we're going to set our attributes at the start of the game with a when created block. We're going to set that attribute to zero so that when the game starts, our car is not moving anywhere. We're going to add a when updating block and let's call that movement like this. When the game starts, rather than thinking about the X speed or the Y speed or that, we are going to use a different block called the velocity block. Now velocity looks at which direction you're moving in and what speed you're moving at. Now the direction we're moving in, in our actors, is going to be the direction of the actor. So whichever the direction the actor is pointing in, so that's the direction of self, which is the car, and the speed of our car is now always going to be set by whatever velocity is. Now at this moment, velocity is zero, so our car's not going to move anywhere. To make our car move, we need two if blocks, one for the up key, and one for the down key. We're going to add our two controls over here like this. We're going to choose the control of up and we're going to choose the control of down like this. Let's put those blocks in. We are now going to use our attributes to move the car. So we're going to go to setters. We're going to set the velocity for up and set the velocity for down. Now remember Stencil for some odd reason likes to call up minus and down plus. In Scratch, it's the opposite. So when we press the up key, our velocity is going to go down below zero, which means we're going to go upwards on the screen. I know it's confusing, but you'll get used to it. Let's get our velocity and another velocity and put them there. So when I press the up key, I would like the car to minus two in velocity. And when we press down, I would like it to plus two in velocity. Let's test this very quickly and see what happens. Now let's have a look and see what's happened. Oh, and you can see that's not really what we wanted to happen. So let's have a look. When I press down, the car moves right. And when I press up, the car moves to the left. So obviously that is not what we wanted to happen in our game. And as I can see it, our car is moving to the left when I press up, which is 90 degrees less than I wanted it to. So let's just very quickly fix that. Let's set the velocity of our actor to the direction. And let's just add 90 degrees to that. Let's do it like this and put that block back in. So let's just add 90 degrees to our car because we seem to have been 90 degrees off. Let's test that again and see what happens. And let's see. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So you can see our car is moving up when I press up and down when I press down. Again, we have a problem because once we are moving, our car doesn't stop, even though I let go of the keys. Let's fix that right now. That's, again, my favorite bit of code, which is setting the attribute to itself times something less than zero. That's the old, let's make it go back to zero code. So set the velocity to velocity times, and let's do 0 0.9 eight in this case. Let's test that game again and see what happens. And let's have a look. 
Oh, and you can see I press up, let go, and the car kind of slows itself down. And that's pretty good. Now, obviously, we're not turning yet, so we're just moving backwards and forwards. So let's add that code in. We're going to add in two more if blocks to take care of turning. We're going to add our control. We're going to add the left key and the right key. So let's do choose control, right key, choose control, left key, like this. Let's put those in. Go back to the actors and the position. And this time, what we're going to do is if you press the right key, we're going to turn it in that direction. That's clockwise and left is anti-clockwise. I have found that just using a one degree turn to the left and the right works really well. Now let's test this game and see what's happening now. And let's have a look. Oh, and there we have it. That's actually really nice. So we've got our car, which moves. We've got our turns, which happen quite well. Now, what we can do is just fine tune this. I can see that turning is actually quite good. I might increase that to 1.5 degrees, but I can definitely see that our speed of our car is way too fast for this level. So in that case, I would do something like adding only one and minusing only one from the velocity. Let's do our final check and see how that works. And let's have a look. And that is so much better. We have a really nicely moving car, reverses as well, and turns just perfectly. So this would work with almost any game where you're looking top down at a character and your character didn't just move left and right, but had to move in any direction and also turn in the direction that they were moving in.